take me to something. You know, that's a little up there. That's a little pricey. Yeah. Fire mountain. I mean, uh, <laughs> something like that. that's a little pricey. Uh-huh. What is that? Logan. Like I'm running out of luck. There ain't too much here. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a guy on Put about a hundred dollars on me. Uh-huh. I ain't got no help. Huh? When, when you can't find no place here, you gotta drive. Go down to Detroit area. Find it. Don't find no greasy spoon down there, but find something luxury. Luxurious. I'm worth more than that. Woman, you worth more than that, ain't you? It's about time. Delight yourself in the Lord. Sometimes you don't feel like delighting yourself. You feel sick. But there's a blessing in your presence. Sometimes you got to overlook your circumstances and trust God's word. Be obedient to God's word. When you be obedient to God's word, God will give you. He'll give you when you do what he says. You know what I'm talking about. Your child, when they when they do get good grades and everything, you just feel compelled. You gotta bless them in a certain way. If you don't have it, you're gonna find a way to Amen? Because they were obedient to you. I was so excited to hear Sister Horn they called me. Amen. Amen. Call me late. You know, you ain't ever never called and asked me am I sleeping. Don't worry about that. You know, called me late and said, Pastor, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Everything going all right? Get to the point. What are you talking about? I just got a praise report. No. You got a praise report. Well, that's a long time. You know that accident that I was in. My car burned up. All of this. You know, I just waited and I just just, just did like you said, just waited and, and trusted in the Lord. I didn't even get pushed or bent out of shape about it. I just knew the Lord would come to me the best way. I just knew that. I knew that. There's some things that you know in a relationship that God is going to come. He's, he's going to bless you in the end. That's something the word knew. And Abraham knew. Said, that see, it's, it's a relationship like a man knows a woman. That's yes, what the word do. It knows him intimately. Yes, the Bible said that this is the confidence that we have in him. Yeah. That if we ask anything yeah. according to his will, yeah. he heareth us. Yeah. And if we know that he heareth us, yeah. we have the petition that we have desired. Yeah. That's in knowing in the relationship. Yes, sir. Yeah. My relationship, I know, I know when my wife leaves home, I know she's coming back. Yes, sir. I know she's coming back, rushing back to me. Yes, sir. Expecting to see me. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Absence, you know that old saying, absence makes the heart go Yes, sir. I know when she leaves and haven't seen me all day, I know it's a rush there to come and see me. Yes, sir. At least for a few minutes. Yes, sir. And it's the same way. When I'm away from her. Oh, you know, one year, I sent her to the women's convention. Go ahead, on, stay the whole week. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm going to have you a good time. <laughs> After the first day of eating out, yeah. felt pretty good. Uh -huh. And at nighttime in the house, it was long to get all the cracks and everything. Yeah. I heard stuff I never heard. <laughs> Turn the TV up a little louder. Yeah, to turn it down. And I'm the one. I'm the lion of the house. I'm the protector. But she was gone. After about the second day, I wasn't going to call her trying to play hard to get. By the second day, guess who was on the phone calling? I was calling. What you doing when you coming home? Well, I just got here. Asking everybody. 
everything. Well, where's such and such? <laughs> Open the drawer. Where's such and such? Huh? Oh, I didn't know what to do. Almost, you know, who gonna, who gonna press my pants? <laughs> Just turn the iron on. <laughs> Man, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Amen. That's involved in the relationship. Yes, I'm going to be yearning. I'm going to be with what the relationship goes. The longer it gets, the sweeter it gets. Yeah. That's why David said, he said, preserve me, O God. Amen. He didn't say pickle me. That's a problem. Too many saints, you know, instead of getting sweeter. We get meaner. And you've been saying too long, you done got mean and bitter. Who you mad at, God? What did I do to you? Anybody ever know any mean people in church? Don't answer that question. He said, preserve me. You know how they fix preserves? They gotta cut cut the pears up. Am I right? They gotta cut all the outside part of it off. And then they gotta get to that core, right? Where that stem was, cut that off, right? And then at the bottom where that little core is where the seeds are. Where they open up the pears and get the center. But the apple, they gotta get all of that core. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody know anything about preserve besides how to eat them? I got a few people that mm -hmm. And then they ain't through yet. What they got to do, they, they got to wash them. They got to be clean. Yeah, if you wash them first, then you kind of rinse them up after you clean them a little bit too. Because you want that hardness from the core to come on. Amen. Somebody that probably don't want none of my preserves. So, you know, you ain't got to do it. You got to watch them. Mm -hmm. Then you got to put some butter on Butter in it. Yeah. You got to put some sugar in it. No wonder nobody eating your preserves. I ain't got no pity party to 